hit the like button you mugs yo 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 it's aussie kid here today i'm using caitlin caitlin shukagan if that's how you say her name i'm gonna see what the big fuss is about this uh, this fighter right here because i see a lot of mad players using her so she must there must be something about her that's special see my guy K Young Butter using Chicago and I remember him I remember he recommended me to use her once as once as well. Um but when I just look at her fight statistics I mean when I just look at her stats she looks good. She's got nice boxing, nice kickboxing, nice she got nice little kicks, you got like a switch kick, nice roundhouse kicks, good cardio, 95 cardio, very good. Um I like her height as well. She's very tall. I like and I like pool fighters. I can use the reach well. So yeah, she looks good. Her fight statistics look very nice, mate. Probably is one of the best. Probably what is one of the better picks in this uh, weight class. I might start using her regularly as well. To be honest, but I was I, mean, I wasn't really like aware of of her existence yeah right <laughs> nice cross there obviously fighting Alex Grosso the bloody champion hit her with a 34 piece catch her with a body hook while she leans back move out of range go for the jab body hook I'm mixing it up very nicely right now to the body and to the head this is fucking bullying ain't it he's moving ahead like a spastic wasn't able to catch her there <laughs> and then she quit in it say why are you quitting you silly brick all right lads we're back with another match that bloody first guy that first guy I banged him up I smacked him up without even trying me I was I wasn't even focused properly I was just talking and that it was too peak now we're back with the next match fighting Valentina Shevchenko Probably the best, probably the best fighter in this weight class, I'd say. But now I'm gonna try actually tell you guys the reads I'm making and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, she goes. She's going. She's going high and then low, high and then low. You see that, lads? She threw a knee there. That was probably. She probably was meant to throw a lead front kick, I reckon, full, moving forward. And then a nice jab hook. Beautiful cross lead hook, lands clean. She goes in for a little leg kick. That She might start doing that repetitively. She goes in for another teep. I'm trying to say, I think she's she's, uh, she's going for these teeps. Catch her with a nice four piece. I'm going to go down twice to the body. I wasn't able to because she lunged away from my lead hook. So that stopped the rest of my combination. Insane. She keeps on going back to that teep. That's definitely one of her main things. She tried to catch me with a teep there while I while I enter the pocket. So I've got to be careful entering the pocket, and I can maybe possibly counter counter the teep. Actually, have a nice one too. Then so I'm trying to say she's definitely trying to use that teep to. She's trying to catch me while I'm coming in the pocket with that teep. She tried to get me with a takedown. Denied that. Denied that one early. Goes for the spinning body kick. Gonna be, I'm gonna keep that in mind that she's used that kick there. I can definitely counter that easily. If I just move towards her rear leg, I'll automatically avoid it. Once you see them throw it once, keep that in your memory, lads, forever, and expect her to throw it again. Go with the body uppercut to lead body hook. Then another teep. Using a lot of these teeps, I can probably sidestep them. Or you know, like Marshall Mine said in the video where he reacted to my fight, he said I can move out of range. I can go in the pocket, bait the teep, and move out of range, and then come back in with a cross. You could also rather than sidestep it, you could enter the pocket, uh, back up a little bit, have him whiff the teep kick, because he's doing a fairly good. See, he's he's yeah, right. Maybe I might try to do that now. So she's definitely going to throw that teeth again. She goes in for a back fist. Spinning back fist. So 
scary attacks mean that's what they are mixing her up very nicely right now catch her with an uppercut and I say unlucky probably give you guys one more match one more match alright back with the last match fighting flipping Hexter me what's Hexter doing on Xbox I don't know what this guy's doing on Xbox this guy is a flipping tough squad. This guy's a tough opponent. I know him from PlayStation. Fought him many, many times. Expecting him to take me down. Goes in for the spinning body kick again. Gotta keep that in your memory straight away. As soon as they throw it once, keep that in your mind. Goes for it again and he times it very nicely as I, as I enter the pocket with the cross. I'm gonna look to go down to the body now with the body straight. So I gotta, I gotta be careful when I enter the pocket with my, crop my my uh, straight punches, because I know he's gonna try time the, the spinning body kick and the, uh, his timing is good as well. But yeah, I'm gonna be looking to go for the body straight now. I can see a lot of jabs from, from my opponent, a lot of jabs. So what I can see is just jabs, jabs, jabs. One, two to the body. Maybe I might go in for a front kick. Catches me again. Coming in the pocket with a straight punch. With the spinning body kick. Uh, lands it very well. And does it again. So I need to avoid that. Taking too long to avoid it. Nice lead uppercut. Actually, they have a nice one, two. That time I caught her with a cross as she entered the pocket. She does another spinning body kick, but that one wasn't too big of a deal, didn't do much damage, but obviously still not good that I need to avoid them. Nice lead hook. She does it again, man. This, this is quite pathetic now at this point. But obviously, if I see her throw a lead hook, then that's how I know she... Um, she might throw the, the spinning body kick afterwards so the lead hook is like your signal to if you see the lead hook then you know the spinning body kick might come next you get what I'm trying to say so I gotta watch out for the lead hook she throws it there that's one two uppercut that one landed very clean he's catching he's catching me with a fucking Spinning body kicks as I enter the pocket. I'm catching her with crosses as she enters the pocket. Whenever she tries to enter the pocket, I catch her with a one two. That's what I do all the time. That's my special move, mate. That's Aussie Kid's special move. And start going to the body. See this jab, 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 a lot of jabs. Expecting a spinning body kick anytime soon, lads. A nice one two body hook from her. There you go. Finally avoided it. Finally. But you see, lads, you see, she threw the lead hook. And I knew that after she threw the lead hook, she could possibly go for the spinning body kick. So that's like your signal to the C. To be able to, you know, that's like your signal. <laughs> That's one, two again, catching her coming in the pocket. I'm using my cross. She's using the spinning body kick. I'm using the cross. Oh, yeah, look, still a load of jabs. She goes in for the spinning body kick again. Catch her with a nice body uppercut into lead body hook drop her there. She's being. This is the, the spinning body kick is what's making her uh, get battered. I know, try to go with the cross hook body straight. I thought that would catch her off guard. One, two, lead hook. I'm expecting jabs. Nice one, two. Got with a little, little lead body hook there. Well, watch out for the uppercut as we go down to the body. She throws two body hooks. Maybe we might be able to ca possibly catch her with an uppercut. But she does that. Just throw out the uppercut. Nice 
nice cross. I can I can try to throw out the uppercut and catch her, go into the body, but obviously she might notice that I'm trying to do that. And then stop throwing body shots. So kind of like it's kind of like you're showing your card when you do that. But look at this just bunch of jabs I'm seeing right now. Nice cross uppercut there, catch her, intercept her well. She goes with the body straight. Nice cross there. Go down, go down three times to the body. One, two, lead body hook. Cross hook. She goes with the body straight. Nice cross there. Go down, go down three times to the body. One, two, lead body hook. Cross hook. Dirty. I'm not even sure if this is the Hexstar that I know. This might be a different Hexstar, you know, I can't lie. Different Hexstar, you know, I can't lie. Catch a devil uppercut. I, I I think that's fake. That should have uh, that should have done a significant amount of damage because I caught her going to the body with the uppercut. So that should have done a bunch of damage. It was pretty fake, if you ask me. Might go double hooks. I think that's gonna catch her well. Go through the block. She must have low block health for me to be able to go through the block with that with that little shit combo. Might go in for the maybe the one-two head kick. Wasn't able to go through the block. Can't get too excited because she can still win. So can't just. It's not. We're not. Uh, it's not a guaranteed win yet, lads. She catches me over cross there while I try to. Sets me well with that cross, does a little minor slip hook. This is when I'm gonna start going to the body more. Nice cross there. Catches me over. I'll go for a lead body hook there. She catches me over uppercut and rocks me. And I know her body health must be pretty low because you see when I rocked her previously, I was going down to the body, rocking her to the body. I've been hitting her with some nice body shots. So I can definitely commit to the body. I'm gonna be doing that in the next round, lads. Next round's gonna be mine in. See this bold prick in. But I definitely reckon I have more health than her for sure. Every time I'm rocking her, I'm going duck twice to the body. Problem with that is that the body shots are pretty telegraphed, so it's quite shit, you know, when you uh, when you go to the body and you, when you rock them. She tries to go up there, deny that, go sprawl. So obviously she's taking me down now. She's trying to trying to beat me on the ground. I'm gonna fake the down transition, do it undeniable here. Maybe I go for side control. Once the GA gets really high. Like when she hits me, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get full GA. I can go for the side control transition. She was able to deny it. it was, I just missed it slightly there. I deny the down transition there, she tries to grab my neck, I deny that she gets back to the feet. My stamina is very low. If I kicked her body well, while she was in that state with very low stamina, I would have done a very, very significant amount of damage. It would have been great. She's still throwing these jabs. I need to slip one of these jabs. She blocks me there. She goes down three times to the body projection. I say, look how telegraphed that is. I can literally see that from a mile up, from a mile away, mate. So it's a bit shit. Rock her there, might go for the lead body kick. Going for the body straight, she's just going for the trip. Might do some work from the top position. Posture up, I was able to get it. I was uh, worried she might deny that. Get back to the feet, onto the body. I think I might go for the lead body kick. Gotta watch out for the slip. I'm leading a lot with my cross and she's she's getting down my rhythm and she's trying to slip it. Nice cross again. Time that one well. Double up the jab, go to the body. Catch her with a head kick there. And that's it in it. A good fight. I know I knew her head health was low the way I was consecutively rocking her, just rocking her over and over and over again. I knew her head health must be 
must be low and I was able to get her out of there catch caught her with the head kick she should have been uh, she should have ducked the head kick so obviously it's her fault and I say to her GG in